Hello again everyone, Truck CB Sales here with a tariff report for Christopher, Mississippi on a Galaxy DX2547. Christopher got you ready to go bud, you snatched up the last 2547 probably in the country. Um, I'm not sure when we'll get some more. Uh, Galaxy as everybody knows has been very stagnant on the release of their equipment. Um, every now and then I'll get, you know, 15 or 20 2547s and some 29s and every now and then a 959B here and there. But other than that, uh, Galaxy has uh, really, really let us down the past couple years. Uh, Seem to be getting quite a few of the Ranger and Striker products without no problem, but these jewels here are hard to come by right now. Christopher, we got you all fixed up. Uh, per your order, the tune alignment, unlock the clarifier, the ERF 2030 plus MOSFET, and we've got a static 636 mic laying over here for you to go, and of course, this big, nice, bright white LED, which to me on these, on all the base stations, that is a must. Let's just get right to it for you, Christopher. We're going to start with the RF power all the way down. This is a single final radio, so... We got you set here to half a watt all the way down. Now that's lower than you're gonna run it if you're gonna be barefooted, but if you decide to run an amp, you do have that adjustability. There's you five and a half watts all the way up. I'm gonna show you average power swing. Hello. So we're hitting about 17 bird with that ERF 2030 plus MOSFET. 50 watt slug PEP. Hello, 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 38 PEP. So we see quite a bit of an increase over the, the stock 520, uh, about 8 PEP watts, and also about 6 or 7 bird average more. So it's definitely worth it, not to mention the durability of the ERF 2030 Plus. All right, Christopher, we're going to get this out the door for you. It is Friday evening right now, so it will go out on Monday via UPS. Head to the Magnolia from your friend truck at truckcbsales.com.